Welcome back to Kirby's Dream Collection. Uh, Kirby's Dream Land. It's, yeah, I gave up. <laughs> oh my god, that actually happened. Uh-huh. Wow. Uh-huh. Gooey, how could you? Alright, well, this is uh, the sand world, because we always need a desert part, don't we? And uh, here we got tulips, but we also have, who are actually helping, the Gero Mazuradakes. These guys right here. These guys are mushrooms, and those were tulips. And as we all know, fungi need dead plants in order to survive. Uh, oh, so we're going to kill the tulips we spent so much time saving in the other worlds. Well, they're not welcome in this part of the land. Well, I mean, maybe they're on vacation. You never know. I mean, I don't know what they're doing in a desert of all things, but you never know. Th this guy, th I think that's the leader of the resistance, but now he's gone. And uh, the idea is to crush the tulips, save the mushrooms. Oh, so you've already done it. Then we, yeah, we did it. Well, that was kind of quick. It's just in that one segment. But they thought they were real clever. It's like, huh, they'll never figure it out. Now, answer me this, because I don't think I've ever asked this. Oh, I haven't heard that in a while. What the go hell ahead. was that? Uh, don't, don't worry about it. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. Anyway, some of these, like, little mini challenges. Like, let's say you gotta defeat a bunch of tulips or whatnot. Are there levels later on where they extend through the whole level and they start hiding objectives? Hiding objectives? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, let, let's say I need to kill ten tulips, and they're hidden all over the level instead of just in one segment. Um... Now, as far as I know, everything is sort of, uh, limited to one room. It's like, okay. if, if you do something in this one room, like, like maybe, uh, if you get this one power in this one room, and you carry it for these eight rooms, then you use it there, you know. But, you know, it's nothing too... Nothing too taxing. Nothing too terrible. Like, we're just waiting I mean, for the extreme levels of Kirby. Let's... Well, remember, this is Kirby we're talking about. It's not gonna get dickish. It's just gonna go... Ah, okay. And then, then sometimes it's weird and cryptic, but, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'll say that. I just remember when I was playing, uh... Triple Deluxe, there was one just for 100% because I'm a completionist like that. They're like, okay, have fun figuring this out. All right, I know I need that power. I need to hold it for how long? And then do what with it? <laughs> All right, cool, we'll play this game. I'm glad Triple Deluxe was uh, your first Kirby game by yourself without me helping. Yeah, the at least the recent ones, I guess. Oh my god, what is going on? I mean, if you had to, if you had to start anywhere, Triple Lux is a good place to start. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the joke's finally over. I own Superstar Ultra. Yes, yes. <laughs> but, uh, uh, the, but, but then I said the joke is that you have the game, but not the box. Ha ha! Joke's then, on you! But then... I was a loser when I worked at GameStop, so I collected game boxes because they throw them away. So whenever I saw a game that I wanted that had a pristine box and you died again, look at that. So whenever a pristine DS box or 3DS box came time. in, I kept them. I'm just showing off that these cavemen here uh, have a nasty habit of throwing back everything you throw at them. No kidding. Oh, God, and you're being hurt by rain. We got rain, we got pterodactyls to keep me out of the sky. So, uh... L little bit of a challenge, this room, not gonna lie. Because you can't really shoot it back at everyone, you just gotta eat the cavemen like that, but... Hmm. So, can you eat them? Yeah, you can eat them. Oh, then... I, I was just wondering why you weren't doing that. Or you just wanted to show them off. I don't like swallowing. I'm a, I'm a spitter, okay? Okay. Besides, if I spit, I can get a lot more... But, but see, look at that! Because it was more than one, it took him out just fine. Oh, they can only bat one, not more than you, one. You see, you thought it was a double entendre, but instead I was showing off a game mechanic! That's just absolutely brilliant. I'm glad you're here as my tour guide. It was all a ruse! <laughs> you crafty individual. Ha ha ha! 
You I have the been... audience are my plaything! <laughs> I have been duped! Next up is Obachan. Oh, Opa-chan? Opa-chan, Opa-chan, it's, it's, uh, yeah. Get a broom, get, go, go get clean. Oh, you stole her broom! She was just flying on that thing! I need it! She got a new one, see, she's fine. Well, couldn't you just ask to borrow it? You got, had to basically make her fall ten feet out of the sky? Well, the thing is, if you're, like, a real good master witch, you're never that far from a usable broom. Okay, well... And look, and look, she got them cat ears and all that, she fucking, you know, don't worry about her, man. She could probably even turn into a cat and just, you know, take off in the desert. <laughs> She's, like, uh, on her first broom and you just steal it from her. <laughs> like, she so got that see. for Christmas and you th thiefed it from her. Oh my god, that's adorable! Yeah, I'll go ahead and use the Koo Feather Duster for this, because uh, you need, uh, just any clean will do. Make, uh, certain ones work better than others, but, uh, Koo's clean here. Are we sweet need! Well, we're just fine. So freaking adorable, I can't believe it. So much charm in this game. How can, like, how could people of 1997 play this and go, Eh, it's stupid, not enough explosions. How did they not die of diabetes from how sweet this thing is? I mean, it's a bit of a tone down. It's like a, an Animal Crossing uh, type of vibe compared to the uh, Super Mario Galaxy feel of Superstar, you know? Yeah. Yeah. To, to, to make a kind of analogy, I guess, you know. All right, so this is weird. We got two doors that go up into pep, two pep drinks and a one-up, uh, both things I think I would really need. But how do we get there? Hmm. How do you think? <laughs> oh boy, bringing those along. At least they show you what you're doing. It's not like the new Super Mario Brothers games where they're just like, by the way, there's a cutaway wall. Hope you decide to try this for some arbitrary reason. Yeah, it's some pipe that shows up out of nowhere, and now that you've already gone through the wrong pipe, we sure showed you that there's a pipe that you could have gone through that you didn't go through because you suck. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Sucker! <laughs> There's one more chance to get clean if you didn't get it. Oh, those guys were cleaning? The, uh, those guys are abilities, but the first one shown there was clean. This is oh. Obachan. He's right. staying late, trying to clean the whole damn building. Let's give him a hand. What do you say? <gasps> oh. Oh, there's a little bit of dust there. Yeah, all right, well, you can just use Kirby's. Sorry, Koo. Watch and learn from the master. Well, you don't typically use feather dusters to clean floors. True, true. I mean, unless if they're big enough, but, you know. Ah! You can use it to take care of spiders, though. That is one <laughs> thing you can do. That actually freaked me out. <laughs> I didn't know what that was for a second. Oh, yes. God. There, we did it. That's Yay! It. Uh, cleaning with Kirby. Maybe that could be a game. It could be a spinoff or a... Uh, what do you want to call a spiritual successor to Mario Teaches Typing? I'd just call it Squeaky Clean Fun. Kirby Squeaky Clean Squad. It'll sweep you away. <gasps> I got nothing. It's I got mean, a loud... It's got a really loud foreign engine. It goes broom broom. <laughs> oh, that was a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yeah, you stretched to one of the foreign nations that your broom broom car came from. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, but, uh, does every Kirby game have a desert level? I guess I haven't been paying attention enough to know. Yeah, I'd say. Oh, there's a little bit of water. Is this a mirage? Are we dying from heat stroke now? No, it's an oasis, mate. Oh. Oh. You see, Kirby may be... It may seem like he's aimlessly wandering, but he knows his place. He knows a way that has all the water routes and all, all the kazers. So you can stay cool as you traverse through the desert. You don't gotta worry about him. He's been everywhere. He's like... Actually, he's not even 10 years old at this point, because his first game came out in 92. It's 97 right now, so... Huh. He's like five. Whoa. And he knows his way around the world. He knows what he's doing in life. Yeah, he's got it. Come on, Q! Hey! Nice job! 
kind of wanted the maximum tomato, but you know what? Whatever. All right. Next up is Caramello. Mmm, I don't like that tone. What are you trying to tell me about Caramello? Well, uh, the thing about Caramello that I hold such uh, deep contempt for is that he is the third level in this world. Oh, I get it! I get you know it! What that, you know what that means? Oh, yeah! Shitty minigame! We got a <laughs> shitty fucking minigame. If we fail once, we lose, we gotta do it again, or we don't get the true ending. Because... Ah, all right. Fucking ridiculous, arbitrary, stupid, nonsensical fucking mini game. We failed. That means we can't do it anymore. Uh, you know what? S -s Stay here, Koo. Uh, I'm sure you can find your way back just fine. Oh, there he is. <laughs> wow, he found his way through the desert. Good job. Yeah, I'll swing my girlfriend around like a purse. That's fine. Wow. Kirby, dude, you don't mess around. But it's not like you know, swing around like a purse, like you know, I I'm a be I'm beating her type thing. But it's like, uh, you know, a, a Matrix type deal where uh, you know we lock arms and then she swings around and she kicks him and then she lands on her feet and I jump up and I kick more dudes and all that. But, you know, that sounds awesome. I mean, she looks like she's made of pure buoyancy or uh, some rubber material. So I'm betting you could do some awesome combo attacks with her. Oh, she can stiffen up. Yeah, that's actually pure muscle. Whoa, really? Oh, yeah. So but she's just like a big globule of muscle mass. She's like a... Like, I think she may have been torn from someone's left butt cheek. I, th I think she may be someone's butt cheek. <laughs> Kirby's dating a butt. <laughs> I mean, what do you... What? Whenever you float, look what Chucha's trying to do. She's trying to absorb Kirby and make him the right butt cheek, and together they can make one ass. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Now I gotta, I gotta not die. Now it'd be great. Please don't die. Yeah, I don't want to die. I really prefer not to. You know, uh, fun, fun thing. You can't slide when you have an animal friend. I didn't so even know you could slide in this game. Yeah, and I, I, I thought that too, because it's like, you know, I slide all the time in the other Kirby games, but it seems like I just don't do it all the time when I do it when I have friends. It's, it's weird, man! So, uh, here, here what I'm doing now is uh, I'm controlling GUI as player two, and uh, I did it a bit too soon. Damn. Oh, how do you do that? Uh, if you just press A as a... Uh, on on player two's controller, either that or uh, you summon player, you you summon GUI and player two matches some buttons or whatever. Mm. But uh, right now, I'm not doing anything, and GUI is just kind of following me. Uh. And so he died in in, in a volcano. Well, that's alright. I'll just save it for the next one because uh, I'm trying to do something with GUI here. GUI can actually uh, help a little bit with these shitty mini games. In what way? Well, if uh, you come into the minigame room with player one and GUI player two, you get two guesses. Oh, no way! So this one, Gordos appear, and you gotta count which ones actually appear. Great guess, GUI. You almost got it. You were in the ballpark, buddy. You almost had it. Overshot a little bit. That, that one was three. This one was a bit easier than I thought it would be. Wait, what? Oh, three the same. Uh-huh. Then he'll ask you this. Now, this one, this one's kind of mean. They flashed and they're gone. No. Oh. Now, luckily, I happened to catch a glimpse, so I'm pretty sure there were seven. Yep. It pulls a fast one on you. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. What? No! Yeah, Caramella will be, uh, eaten at that point. <laughs> anyway, good job, Gooey. Your your time here is done now. Back into my pouch. You know, Kirby could actually threaten anybody with that. Just the threat of immediate consumption. She's like, you know who I am? Yeah, that's right. I'm Kirby. I'm the puffball master. I can eat you alive. Spit you back out. A broken husk. 
of your former self. There'll you be will disappear left. from this world! Nothing left of your corpse. Your family will have nothing to cry over besides the fact that they know you're gone. Look at this guy. There's no way to get to him without hacking the game. Just some random Kirby look-alike. Maybe the same species. Don't even know where the hell he came from. He could be a homunculus. <laughs> Just, you know, forged together with a bunch of old Kirby parts and maybe a few dead enemies. I'm gonna say that it's Beta Kirby. Berkey. <laughs> there, DDD's trying to create his own Kirby to combat the other one. You know, it's kind of a Sonic Metal Sonic thing. And he tries to oh. give sentience to chewed bubblegum. It doesn't work quite as well. You just kind of wander around and just don't do anything. You know how when you chew bubblegum and it accidentally falls on the floor, everything gets in it? It's kind of like that with the Corby or whatever we want to end up calling gross, disgusting Kirby. It's just got, like, bones and fragments of glass in it, and it's just constantly says, kill me. It's a very sad story. It's too bad not a lot of people have seen Akira. Because the ending of days. that is kind of what you're alluding to. Oh. Yeah. We got three friends. We got Nago, and we got Pitch, and we got Rick. Ah, look at that. But I, but I really like that part. I think we're going to go with him because Pitch usually kind of... Well, Pitch is pretty good. Look, I'm making snow cones. I was wondering if you were doing that. You were turning like a little lever on his head. Yeah. Da so try, try, trying to see if I can get Rick to show his off, but... Ah, well, fuck it. So Nago just rolls the ball and somehow creates a jet. Her. An ice jet. Her. I like how he latches onto him. It's like, oh shit, we're going up. I love how fast he is. Though. He's, got, he's got great movements. Like, it's it's a too bad that a lot of speedruns use Ku a lot. But you see, with Nago, you get you know brisk, smooth movement. Nice you jumps. You don't get the constant flapping noise and your thumb doesn't get as tired. I was just thinking, yeah, Nago flies extra super fast in this game, probably because the Super Nintendo can handle that much processing. It's like, oh, blast processing? Oh, that's just uh, what we do in our spare time, Sega. Kid stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, don't I die. Don't, I... Aha! No! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, man. Oh, that was perfect. That guy is an asshole. That was ingenious. Oh, that was fantastic. Good job, designers, for putting a beginner's trap right there, and you fell for it. I mean, if I would have just had one hit left, it would have been fine. <laughs> oh, and all you see on the game over screen is Gooey just crying over his fallen comrade. Kirby, no! So Gooey's big the cat. Kirby, no! Sure. Might well, as well hey, at this point. They were fishing when we first met them. <gasps> no! Alright, oh. so. Here's what you gotta do. First, you gotta take this bottom path. Are you paying attention, kids? This is crucial stuff here. I promise. Step one. Take the bottom path. Step two. Keep taking the bottom path. Step so take the top path. Oh! Fool! Oh, sorry, Ed. I'm always giving you wrong details. That's my bad. Who is the master of this game? Well, not me, but uh, I'll let you know when I talk to him. Okay, okay. And now, here's the tricky part. Run into that fish. Very crucial. <laughs> I was just thinking, yeah. <laughs> Hit that snail, because, you know, it's, 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 it's lonely. It needs a hug. And then Kirby starts sprinting backwards! But kill that shark, because bubbles kill sharks. Remember that. And we go into this room, and there's a fucking broom boss! Oh. It's like, I just can't clean up all this sand. <laughs> I clean one spot of the desert, and then just more sand shows up. I dug a hole, it fills itself right back up! Oh no, I'm dead! If I could get rid of all this sand, it would be splendiferous. So this is, uh, I think it's Donbei from Shin Onigashima. That was a very out-of-place sprite. 
Because it's an NES game or some shit. Oh. We're, gonna, we're, we're, we're bringing him back to Hikari, who is the girl who started this mission. Uh, it's another Japan exclusive title, and Nintendo threw it in Smash Brothers. Like, ah, remember? You guys remember this? Eh? No, no, uh, I, I uh, don't, Nintendo. I'm sorry. Uh, mm -mm. Oh, well, here's the theme for you. Yes. Yeah, oh, great. oh, thank you, guys. You're uh -huh. the best. Right. Uh, uh, you, you ever want to think about localizing some of these? What? No. No, no. You, you know that virtual console thing? Uh, Japan exclusive still. Wasted. I still don't understand that. That is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. Wasted. It's like, here, we can just uh, have, have the games as is for a little bit higher price. Sell them over here, and then bam. That's more money we could make, but wait. We don't want to make too much money. No, right, right. I mean, we don't want to rule the world. I mean, no. we're not Warner Brothers or anything. We want to, we, we want to make sure the scalpers get their, get their end first. <laughs> Actually, uh, something funny, you know the the SNES Mini? It's coming out here soon. You know, I stopped caring about it, that way my heart won't get broken when I can't pre-order one. So uh, it, it was actually funny to see the trailer, because while they were showing off Mario World for the Japanese trailer for the SNES Mini, they actually showed item duplication. <laughs> Accidentally. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, so that gameplay was probably a few seconds away from crashing. That's all we have time for. Uh -huh.